Hello everybody! Today I would like to show you a loaded envelope that I made. Um, this was my first loaded envelope. I've been wanting to make one of those for a while, but couldn't find any loaded envelope swaps while um, to participate in. So, and I felt kind of silly making one for myself. I know there's a loaded envelope swap group on Facebook and I did request to join, but my request is still pending, so I don't know whether they are still accepting any new members. So I wrote a blog post um, asking if anybody would do a loaded envelope swap with me. And this one lady said she was interested in doing one. Yay! Um, we decided to do the Anything Goes loaded envelope. And this is what I made for her. Um, I hope she will like it. Um, I decided to go for a black and white team loaded envelope with a splash of color and I chose kind of gold and yellow um, tones to combine with black and white. Um, anyways, this is what the loaded envelope looks like that I made, loaded envelope that I made. Um, I used the uh, papers from Scrapworks Formal Affair paper stack and I just love those papers. I think they're really elegant and really pretty. Um, I hope you will like it as well. So, as you can see, I created two pockets here and this is the main pocket for the loaded, for the loaded envelope and I will just slowly put things out so we'll see what I put inside. Um, first, here is the smallest pocket um, and I decorated it with a piece of lace, some pom-pom trim and some blink. And this crochet butterfly was not made by me. Um, I got it from one of my friends a while back and I thought it looked really pretty on this envelope. Um, inside this pocket I put two small tags that were cut using magnolia duhike dies um, used from the same papers um, that I used for making this envelope and this is another tag like this um, on top of the tag I used some tiny pom-pom trim that I absolutely love so um, I know she likes I know this lady who was my swap partner likes cats, so I created a small bookmark for her using another Magnolia Duhike die. Um, and I decorated this kitty with some tiny pearls that I had in my stash and the bookmark has a magnetic closure. So it's open up like this, you can see a magnet here on top. Um, all of the things that were purchased I were um, are wrapped in a white tissue paper. So here you can see I another one of those. Um, inside are some breads for her. I hope she can use them. Um, here is a small yellow envelope made from the loom and a handmade paper pin. And inside the envelope, I added some of those uh, kitty die cuts. So this is the smallest pocket. Um, here is the bigger pocket. Here you can see I created two more tags. These are a bit bigger. And another one here. This can be taken down. And on this tag I also used um, two of the small flowers that I had in my stash. Another of those yellow envelopes. Each of those envelopes has a small gift inside. This one, for instance, has a pack of glitter. Um, there is this tassel that I had in my stash and I thought it looked really cool on the side this uh, transparent piece 
and another of those um, handmade paper clips that holds together um, two papers from Smash Pet. Um, here is the super super cute pencil that I bought for her. I just love those pandas, aren't they adorable? Um, I decorated it with a ribbon bow. I just love this pencil. I think I need one of the one for myself as well. Um, here's another gift that spread in a white tissue paper. This is um, here inside this. A pom pom trim, white pom pom trim. Another of those yellow envelopes. Here is a white mesh that you can use on her craft projects. Isn't it pretty? Uh, and one more. Oh, come on. One more gift. Um, here, inside here are uh, star-shaped charms, yeah, star-shaped charms. Um, then I created two lollipop cards here and this one that's a bit smaller. Um, I didn't have any paper straw at home, so I experimented and I used barbecue stick which I covered with washi tape and I love the end result. Same as here. Um, I have a tutorial on those in case you are wondering, in case you are interested in checking it out. I will put the link in the description below. Um, to create this lollipop um, I used this doily lace uh, die cut from Cherilyn um, and I created a rosette. Again, you have a tutorial on that in my video. Um, those birdies are some, some embellishments that I had in my stash and this is simply wonderful. It's a sticker that came from my stash as well. Um, I created, I decorated the back with another piece of patterned paper and two paper flowers. And on this lollipop, um, I used um, ah, another of those handmade rosettes and star die cut and a button um, and I created a bow in the middle. And this is the back, which is plain. Um, and also here are two more tags that I put. Again, those were made uh, using the same papers. And I decorate them with um, doily, paper doily and some yellow flower and black flowers that I had in my stash. And I also made these two rolled flowers in the, for the center. And these are the bags. Okay. Um, then you can flip the envelope around, and this is the back of the envelope. Again, I used a piece of lace, lace, um, another pom pom trim, which I absolutely love. And oh, isn't this gorgeous? It's a, it's a um, flower trim that I had, and I absolutely love the look of it. Uh, in this pocket I put another tag that I had in my stash for a while and I thought it went perfect with the envelope. Another of her presents, as you can see here are some um, crystals inside. Another transparent piece that you can use on her craft project. And some more of those pages from the smash pad. This one. These are closed the whole together with a uh, black paper clip. Okay. So that's 
it. I hope you will like my paper, uh, my wallet envelope and that you can use stuff that I put inside for her. So, um, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.